two um, technology fields that um, have seen the fastest growth were digital communications and, and computer technologies. Day three and the WISIS Forum of 2015 has been dominated by the high-level track of discussions. Delegates have been engaging with two very important themes, innovation in ICTs and making empowerment a reality, accessibility for all. This dialogue was all about making information and communications technology available to those living with disability. You know, if you look at all the technologies that you would find in this room, uh, you probably would find that only a small proportion of them... You know, Access to information technology can and does make a tremendous difference to the quality of life of those living with disabilities. WISIS and its forums has made a consistent effort to bring access to marginalised populations in a systematic way. The high-level dialogue agreed the key challenge remains how to incorporate the disability perspective into all areas of planned development, including legislation, policies and programmes, and at all levels of development. As a significant part of the high-level track of WISIS 2015, Today, at the Intercontinental Hotel, ministers and senior department officials from more than 80 countries met behind closed doors. Before they went in, we spoke to a few of them to find out what was on their mind. Uh, I would convey to all that we should work, need to work together to bring out access to of internet to every citizen of our country. I expect uh, to get some experience from other country how ICTs can be a driver for the development such my country it is now. I think one of the most important things we can do in these meetings is actually to share best practices and best experiences. Another theme of the day was innovation. Innovation in the field of information and communication technologies can mean a lot of different things. It's more than just new phones and tablets. The way you deliver a product or idea, the way you teach people how to use it, the infrastructure you put in place to support it, can all be subject to innovation. Accessibility, as I'm sure you've already heard, has... The high-level discussion included on the panel the Ministry of Infrastructure and Development of Poland. With the Polish delegation is Anna Rogozinska. She spoke to me after the event. The, the panelists discuss about innovation and ICTs and sustainable uh, uh, goals, so that's a uh, sustainable development. And they are discussing about the relationship between innovation and ICTs, also how it uh, could influence on a development and also how to foster the, the innovation in ICTs and what, is, uh, what should be the role of the government and other entities in this process. With the aim of raising the living standard and enabling our economy. Today has also seen the last of the policy statements from all the governments represented here. Each has a few moments to briefly outline the state of play and the future of ICTs in their respective countries. And so day three draws to a close and so ends the high level streams of dialogues and conversations here at WISIS 2015. Tomorrow we leave the premises of the World Intellectual Property Organization and head back to the ITU. In the many conference rooms there, people will be discussing issues as diverse as opening access to digital fiber, encouraging women to innovate through technology and building trust in cyberspace.